one through 10 top scout the stat line catchers. Number one is Samuel Basalo. This is going to be a pretty consensus number one amongst rankings as well. Basalo, 19 years old in 2024, played at double A, 16 home runs, hit 289 with 355 on base percentage, a 465 slug, played 106 games. Doc, he did fight injuries to start the year. Had a fractured elbow, had some issues with his wrist, but put together a pretty darn good season. Um, you know, big time vol uh, helium in 2023. Are you still feeling as excited after 2024? I, I just, I'm going to be blue in the face about this. I'm going to scream it from a mountaintop. I'm going to shriek it. Ah, Samuel Basayu is just not appreciated the way he needs to be. I don't get it. Uh, it seems that people see the C Baltimore. They're like, oh, that's Adley Rushman. Dude, this guy's a stud. They're not going to hold a stud back. They're going to find a spot for him. Maybe he is a first baseman who rotates in as Adley Rutschman gets toward 30 years old, keeps those knees fresh. Then you get the best of both worlds. You get a guy who's playing all the time, keeps his own knees fresh, and and gets that C eligibility, making him a top three catching option for fantasy every year going forward, which is fantastic. In an ascending lineup, people are kind of down on the Orioles because of how they finished. I'm not down on them long term. They're going to be studs. It's going to be great. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, and the fact that what you said is something people don't really talk about either. He went through like hand and arm injuries and the power didn't really go anywhere. Like, what does that mean? Like, usually that's a huge issue. Uh, what's his name? Alex Kirilov just had to retire because of his yep. wrist injuries, which is like, I'm not really that surprised because you could see that it just says game was getting sapped. I'm, it's a real red flag. Uh, some, sometimes when you have these certain injuries that keep popping up over and over again. So I will keep an eye on that, make sure he doesn't, you know, become, uh, just doesn't have the same injuries coming back and coming back, but to be a 19 year old at triple a, and I think he's 20 now, but you know, he's just such a young kid and he's picking it up so fast. English is not his first language. He seems like he's got great mental makeup too. I'm just excited for his future. I think somehow he's still underrated. I got, it's actually kind of worth sending offers out at this point for him. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, you mentioned the AAA. He did play 21 games to end the season at AAA again at age 19. That's very impressive. AAA performance wasn't incredible, but at 222, uh, 27 strikeouts, five walks. So definitely seemed a little overmatched, but he did show three three home run power. Um, you know, and that was just kind of a cup of coffee. I expect. I guess we go, both would probably expect this season to, to start the year in AAA, right, Doc? That would be the fair assumption coming to 2025 he's gonna have a shot at making the opening day roster i don't think it'll happen but yeah. you're gonna see samuel basayo barring a collapse which would be confusing uh, i think he'll come out fine as long as he's not hurt uh i think you're gonna see him in the major leagues before june 2025 yeah that's uh i mean that's lofty 20 years old right when that's that's what we look for what are we waiting for they, they need it dude what were they waiting for you know I, I don't think they necessarily needed to put him up last year but it's like they clearly needed something. Clearly not everything's in where it should be in, in Baltimore. They have to have some internal discussions of what went wrong. But adding a stud like Basayo, you know, it's going to be interesting because Mayo had some big struggles coming up. Yep. Here's dad, like, where, where are they finding room for these guys, you know? But then we have the success story. And you know, we have Holiday who came out hot. Well, started out really bad. Then it got really hot when he got called up again. And then started or ended off kind of cruddy. Then we got Westberg, who's a success story, but then he got hurt. People kind of almost forget about him. Uh, it's a very weird team now. Uh, I think we're going to see the perspective shift as we head toward the season, though. Yeah. Um, Basayo, player comp on STS is Chipper Jones. Very impressive. That's uh, a new one. That wasn't, that wasn't his comp before. I don't remember who it was, but it wasn't Chipper. Well, yeah, I don't think it was Chipper either. WRC plus at 138.5. This is full regression. Batting average 294. Um, on base percentage 360. Slug of a 511. 26 home runs, 10 stolen bases. He's number one for a reason. Uh, Model really loves him. 